So what I want you to do, you'll notice that there is a piece of masking tape on one side of each of the wing and body. So if you guys can be watching, just to remind you, I am doing this. Okay, so there's masking tape on one side but not the other. So I want you to write your name and your grade on each of the bits of masking tape. Only on that with a Sharpie and then set that aside. You don't need that for the rest of the lesson so you can put it back. Then we are going to turn these over and today we are going to paint on these. So I've got green, blue, yellow and red. Okay. I've got two brushes. The warm colours, which are the red and yellow, we are going to use one brush because those colours mix together nicely. But when I start doing blue and green, I'm going to use a different brush so that I don't get all the paints mixed up. Okay, so use one brush for cool colours. If they get a little bit mixed, it's not super, um, super messy. But if they all mix together, they just make a yucky brown colour. So we want to try and keep them the nice, fresh, bright colours they are. You can make any way, like with every colour and just yeah. red and like. Now remember we had the red beak on the rainbow lorikeet. Yep. So I'm going to paint in little strokes like this. If I get too much paint on my brush, I can just wipe it on the edge here. Okay, because we don't want big blobs because that's not going to dry very well. We can also paint the edge there and Whoa. under here. Whoa. Yeah, sorry, that was just my elbow hitting the table. All right, it had a blue head, didn't it? Yep. So I'm going to swap my brush from the warm colour to the cool colour and I'm going to paint the head blue. I'm using little brush strokes and I'm just taking as much paint as I need because I can always dip my brush back in. Now I want to be a bit careful around here because I don't want to mix too much of the red and the blue. What does red and blue make actually if you mix purple. them together? Purple, that's right. So I might get a little purpley line there. So we're going to do that. He also had a bit of red where? Who remembers? Beautiful. Ran? Maybe like I think he had it on his on his yeah. chest, yeah, didn't yeah, he? He had it, yeah, I think it was red and yellow. Yeah. yeah so like what I can do is I can put a bit of red and the cool thing is I can then dip on the edge of the yellow. And I can mix a bit of yellow. And I want these little strokes because I want it to look a bit like feathers. Yeah? Now, when you come to do your wings, they're going to be like this on either side of the body. So don't worry about... You, you want to try and make them symmetrical. So the example that we looked at had... I think it had green around the edge, didn't it? So along here it had green, so I'd paint green all along here and try and paint in the gap there as well. And then when you go right along, swapping brushes, then I can use some warm colour. So I'm going to do some yellow next. And it's going a little bit orange because I had some red in there. So I'm going to mix that together. And I want you to think, see how I'm just going in one direction with my brush so I can control it rather than like that. So just try and paint in one direction. You can always add a bit more in. And then you can decide what the next colour is that you want to do up there. Once it's all painted and you've painted all the sides, we're going to leave them to dry until next week. 
and then we'll be able to flip them over and paint the other sides next week. You're painting them all. Yeah, we're, you're going to do it. I'll show you how to do it and we'll do it together. Yeah.